Here are some of the programs they advertise. You can see there's a drone aerospace, oil drilling, business retail, and florist. Uh, the schools, school design media, they're all color-coded blue. And the teaching oh, wow. facilities on the left. Media design school. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's so we'll good. look around and you'll see. Pretty uh, amazing. What's yeah. going on out there? Is like a student uh, fair? It's, a, it's a, like a co-curricular activities where uh -huh. all the clubs and societies are out recruiting new students. Okay. Yeah, because this is the new semester for some. So we got retail training, we got all our banking, finance. Banking, accounting, accounting business, <laughs> finance is all done in this this room over here, this building. Right, Walter's the funds. Wow, so he does, principal just told me, since they don't have a lot of land here in Singapore, they're basically doing vertical type of gardening. And that's, look at this. You see a lot of these plants vertically on a building rather than laying flat. I've never seen that. I wouldn't have noticed that, but that's the reason. Due to lack of land. They still want it to look nice. Inside here, they have a full clean room and a wafer fabrication room. So producing high-end high, uh, high -end silicon chips. And I can't go in there because it's sterile and it's a clean room, but you can see the microscopes back there and uh, the, the uh, clean room is on the inside of that dark. I think the government invests a lot of money in, in this level of education uh, to help the least academically able. Is because if you help this level, you level up the whole population. And, uh, and why, why do you believe that? Because in the U.S. they don't really do this specifically in high school. The, the JCs normally start at 18 or 19, mm -hmm. so they kind of lose the kids. Mm. early, right? A lot of the kids drop out mm. before they actually can take advantage of the JC because of their maturity. Mm. So why do you feel that, that it, it brings everything up? What's your... We try to capture, we try to admit everybody uh, into a education system. Right. So if you don't make it to junior college, you'll go to the poly. If you can't make it to poly, you come here. Right. Okay. We do have a few special schools that, that caters to those who are really, really uh, struggling. Right. Uh, but the government tries to put everybody into a post-secondary education. So I think what you're telling me is like, not everybody's gonna go to college and not everybody's gonna go to the university. Uh, not everybody goes to the university. Right. I think as, uh, in Singapore, maybe about 20 to 30% make it to the local university. Mm -hmm. Some will, will, will get there eventually, right. but not immediately. But uh, a post-secondary education, virtually everybody will go to some sort of post-secondary education. Mm -hmm. yeah, so if they're not in the, the, the junior colleges, they will be here, mm -hmm. uh, learning a trade, and, uh, and some will, after they have completed with us, they will go out to work, mm -hmm. yeah, as, as, a, as a technician somewhere or, or other, but gainfully employed. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I think from, I mean, the alternative is that you have somebody who has no qualifications, they go out, uh, they either get an extremely low paying job, Mm -hmm. uh, or they get into trouble. Right. Yeah, and uh, the cost of managing somebody who gets into trouble or if they get right. into prison is much more right. than putting them in education. So right. why not put them in education? Right. Basically, yeah. you described a lot of what's happening in the U.S. education system. Yeah. So 5% yeah. of the world's population, 25% of the world's incarceration. Yeah. Wow. Okay. It's what it is. Okay. Okay, so it yeah. costs more to keep somebody in prison than keep them in school. So put all the money to keep them in school. Yeah. After all, then you have them to be productive. Sure. Yeah. So I think that that's the basic idea. Right. Yeah. So we will take as many as possible uh, into our system, and if they cannot make it at our level of training, uh, we have other levels, and we have a program where they take an extra one more year. So instead of completing it in the normal time as everybody else, they give them one more extra year to catch up and, and so on. Yeah, so, yes, because we, we lack the manpower resources. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have virtually full employment. Wow. Full but employment, so we need everyone to be out <laughs> working. Right, and you said it's only about 1%, is that right? Something Unemployment right? is about 1%, 2%. Right. Yeah. We need to import manpower into Singapore. 
Right. Yeah, because we've got more jobs than people. Uh, we have a, uh, a Trinity Simulation Center. Sure. Where it is interactive. So we can create a scenario, say in, like an oil rig. Right. The students put on some goggles and they think that they are already on the oil rig. Right. And they are trained on it. And uh, we use it for dangerous experiments, uh, dangerous work situations, such as lifting heavy objects and so on. So that if, if they do it wrong and the thing falls on them, right. they don't actually die. Right. Here is this school. Yeah, this is a primary school. Primary school over there. Wow. So these are the public flats and these are the least expensive. Because of uh, the country, Singapore, we are really small. Sure. So we need to be really nimble in uh, responding to the economic needs. Right. And because of that, our courses and the curriculum that we're offering has to be uh, nimble enough and we need to uh, be very uh, fast in uh, responding to changes in the economy. Right. So, uh, for example, a certain sector is not uh, is expanding. We need to match with getting more students to get to the next sector. Right, and you said you're updating what every three to five years depending on? Uh, it depends on, on the um, industry sure. uh, area. For example, uh, IT is very fast, technology changes really fast. So curriculum review in the past, maybe you need to do it in five years or six years. We may need to shorten that review process by one or two years. Really? Yeah. Wow. And you said you won't, you guys refuse to put out oversupply the market, right? Uh, we will not. Uh, offer the number of courses beyond what the industry needs. Right. Yeah. So you don't have a huge... Hand dressing is very popular, but we don't have like uh, six classes or ten classes. We just have enough to, to uh, meet what to, the To meet needs. the... Yeah. Right. Yeah, and we plan like at least about five years ahead of what the industry needs. Really? So you're always thinking up. Yeah. But it's constantly talking with business and industry and yes, aligning yes. those with the, yeah. the school. Because a student comes in like in day one, in year one, by the time they graduate, that will be like this, uh, the third year. They sure. go into the industry in the third year. By then, the industry may have already shifted in terms of the trends and everything. So we need to do advanced scanning of what the industry may need you know, within the next five years. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And what's your name? Jay. Okay. And, and I didn't catch the principal's first and last name. Oh, uh, Liu Beng Kiong. What is it? Liu Beng Kiong. Uh, academic uh, affairs? Academic, yeah. Okay. College Central. Okay, well, thank you so much.